Hey, what's going on everybody? Trey Douglas here, AKA OG Blue Hat. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about work schedule, weekend schedule, and holiday schedule at California Conservation Corps. Okay, so this workday schedule that I'm about to discuss applies to the crews that work out on the grade. So if you're working on grade, you'll be working from 7 in the morning all the way to 5.30 in the evening. So on a normal workday, you will wake up in the morning and go to breakfast, which technically starts at 6.15, but at the Tahoe Center, they always have food ready and prepared at 6 o'clock on the dot. Breakfast is officially over at 6.45, meaning you only have 45 minutes to eat breakfast and pack a lunch for the day. I always try to eat breakfast, pack a lunch, and leave the cafeteria by 6.20 to give myself extra time to freshen up and double check to make sure I had all my PPE. You don't want to leave at or after 6.45 because that's only going to give you 15 minutes or less to show up to roll call, which is at 7 o'clock in the morning. There's a saying at the Tahoe Center that goes, if you're early, you're on time. If you're on time, you're late. So you technically have to be at roll call at 6.55. When you finally take your lunch, it'll be half an hour long, so 30 minutes. And you'll also have two 15 minute breaks spread out throughout the day. But what my C1 would do, Don, what he would do was combine our breaks with our lunch. So we would have an hour lunch, and then after that, we would continue to bust our asses off. And honestly, the whole crew enjoyed the hour lunches because we didn't have to scarf down our food and we had time to rest. It became so effective that other C1s started copying Don's method. You get off of work at 5.30, and even though dinner doesn't technically start until 5.45, at the Tahoe Center, they always have food ready and prepared at 5.30 when you get off. At six o'clock, you can go get seconds. At 6.05, that's last call, meaning you only have one more chance to get more food. At 6.15, the kitchen is closed, but you can continue to eat up until 6.30. 10 o'clock is quiet time, but that doesn't mean you have to go to bed. That just means you have to leave all the common areas and go to your room. And the common areas are the gym, the movie room, the library, the game room, and all the other places that core members hang out at. You just have to leave those places and go to, and go to your room. 11 o'clock is when they expect everyone to be asleep, but they're not gonna go dorm to dorm and make sure everyone's sleeping. But what they will do is go to your dorm if you're making a lot of noise. So. As long as you're quiet, you can stay up to however you, um, however late you want. Don't tell them that you only got two hours of sleep because um, that's like a health and safety. You know, they won't let you use any power tools the next day. They won't let you drive any vehicles. Okay, so let's talk about working five eights, which is working for five days in a row for eight hours. It's very similar to the normal work schedule. The only difference is that you're working Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. Dinner is still gonna be served at 5.30 unless the kitchen crew um, prepares food early so they can get off early. But I mean, and sometimes that would happen. Like sometimes we would get off at three o'clock, right? But they will come out to hook line and they would announce it. They would say something like, dinner's gonna be served at 3.30 or four o'clock today. And that was cool because we didn't have to wait all the way until 5.30 just to eat dinner. You know, that's two and a half hours later and sometimes when you get off of work we're like hungry and everything so it was pretty cool when they did that quiet time is still at 10 and you're only gonna have saturday and sunday off but i kind of like i kind of like working the five eights it's a breather from working four tens and honestly it's like yeah you're only getting off two and a half hours earlier but it's still pretty cool you know it's like you can enjoy your afternoon and all the john Muir student uh, students were able to benefit off of this because Let's say we get off at 5.30, right? After you eat breakfast and all that stuff, it's six o'clock or it's like 6.30. They go to John Muir. They don't get off till like 8, 8.30, you know, sometimes even nine. So um, every time we had the, the five eight, they were able to go to John Muir ahead of time, do their two hours, knock it out, get their credits for that day or for that week. And then after, after they ate, uh, ate dinner, they didn't have to worry about John Muir or anything. They were just able to chill around center, so. I did enjoy the 5'8 sometimes. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, so let's move on to the weekend and holiday schedule. On weekends and holidays, breakfast is from 10 a.m. all the way to 11 a.m. So at 1020, they'll call for seconds. At 1025, it'll be last call, meaning you'll have 
one last chance to get more food. And at 10.30, the kitchen will be closed, but you won't have to leave until 11 a.m. Your next meal won't be until 4 o'clock. 4.20, they'll call seconds. 4.25 will be last call. 4.30, the kitchen closes, but you won't have to leave the, the cafeteria until 4.45. I'm gonna talk a little bit about InCamp. So if you decide to work for InCamp, what you'll be doing is, well, you'll be in charge of the supply room. So you'll help core members get supplies where they need like glasses, new boots, a sleeping bag. You'll, you'll help out with that. Um, you'll be cleaning up the center. You'll always have a walkie on you to communicate with your C1 or to um, respond to like calls around center. You'll pick up core members, you'll drop core members off. I'll do a dedicated video about InCamp in, you know, in another in a in like the upcoming week. But if you do decide to work for InCamp, your schedule is gonna be Monday through Thursday from 7 a.m. all the way to 5 30 p.m. or Monday through Friday from 7 to 3. And in all the time I've been in the seas, I never heard of InCamp working on the weekends. So, but what I have witnessed is if an in-camp job needs to be completed on the on the weekends, what like what they'll do is have core members do the job, and then those core members can get community service hours, which is good because you need forty eight community uh, community service hours to graduate from the program. Okay, so let's move on to the kitchen schedule. I'll do a dedicated video about the kitchen and how it works. I'll go in great detail about that in an upcoming video. But if you do decide to work in the kitchen, you work from 5 a.m. all the way to 8.30 a.m. And then you have a six hour break. And within that six hour break, you can leave center, you can go back to bed, you can chill out at center, you can do whatever you want within that six hour break. You can go to the Y, you can go to the dentist, whatever. And after that six hour break is up, you return back to the kitchen and work from 2.30 p.m. all the way to 7 p.m. On the weekends, which is Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, you work from 8.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. with only an hour and a half break. Everyone who works in the kitchen has different days off and they're all subjected to working 10 days straight. But if you do work a 10 day, you get two consecutive days off before starting it and two consecutive days off after completing it. And you know, a lot of people think the kitchen's like, they think the kitchen is chill. They think in camp and, and the kitchen is chill. I'm not gonna lie, in camp is more chiller than the kitchen, but I feel like the kitchen is more fun because they have like cooking competitions and you can learn how to make some awesome recipes. But a lot of people think that the kitchen is easy. They go in the kitchen thinking, oh, I, I, I saved great. I won't have to like do no heavy work. I won't have to be stressed or anything like that. It's gonna be all good in the kitchen. No, the kitchen can get stressful. And I'll do a whole dedicated video on that on that soon. But um, yeah, put some respect on the kitchen's name. It's not as easy as you guys think. <laughs> So that's it for today's video. Please subscribe to my channel for more CCC videos. Please like this video if it was helpful. Um, I'm trying to reply to all you guys in like a timely manner. Um, you guys have so many questions and it's kind of hard juggling like my regular work life and these videos, but I'm trying. I haven't forgot about you guys. Um, in an upcoming video, I'm still gonna be talking about the drug test. And today's video, I, would, I promise you guys that I will talk about in camp and the kitchen what else is coming, um, talking about town runs. Town runs are pretty fun. Oh yeah, make sure you guys check out my kit in the description below. Every time you guys check uh, check out the kit and buy something from Amazon, I get a small commission, which helps out the channel. So thank you to all who have been buying from the kit. Um, other ways to support me is just by following me or sharing my videos with other people who may be interested in the C's. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, please leave a comment below email me message me if you have any questions or concerns and until next time keep striving to become the king or queen in your passions peace out guys